Right, I had just done this video, funny enough, and halfway through the video, I was disturbed by the postman, and I just looked in the letterbox, and I've got the other book now. So I'll start completely again and just show you the thing. So, um, books that I've made. So I've now got both of them. This one's just come in the post now, so I can now finally show you the size of them, so you give give you a little bit more of a a taster of what they are and how big and everything. So this is the survival trapping one. About A5 size, about 28 pages. I'll flick through them in a minute and show you some. Um, that's probably just about big enough you could put in a bag. That's the smallest I think you can do on or small as I could do on Amazon and I've literally just opened this right now slightly bigger the repurposed survival equipment book nice glossy color um, cover on this one nice this one I must have chose map for this one without realizing that's wrong with it but but, but see the thing is, I'd done this one, but by the time I'd got to this one, I had a little bit more knowledge about it and was, you know, seeing things slightly better. So I think that's why I chose the the colour the glossy colour cover for this one. But probably I don't know. Um so that one, you know, it's about double the size. I'm probably gonna stick to this size. From now on, we'll keep this on for this. Um, Cause this is more the kind of book you keep at home anyway. But <laughs> I'm really happy with that. And, and I've, I'm not—I don't know if I'm going to, but I think now I've realised you may be able to put colour photos in these as well. Was I was always led to believe you can only put black and white in. I know if it's on the e-books, you definitely can only put black and white in. But on the colour, you know, on the actual books, I think you can actually put um, colour pictures in. He's got black and white, but you know what I mean. Right, I'll bring the camera closer and we'll have a look. Right, so... And obviously, that is my real name. But most of you probably knew that anyway. I can get them both in. Right, so survival trap in. That's what's on the back. little picture I didn't want nothing you know too much of my face so it's there it's just me sat under a tarp I think with some of my repurposed gear and that's the repurposed one And that's what's on the back of it. Right, now looking inside this one, literally, this will be the first time I've actually looked inside it. So I haven't even had a chance to make sure it's got any mistakes or anything. I'm just trying to work this around. I've got a tripod here and it's... The pictures are larger in this one, so it makes the writing seem smaller. And I, I think because the book is so big, it kind of, you know, it probably would have been better had I done it in a size of this. It would have filled all the pages up. But because it's such a big book, I didn't, 
I didn't actually realise that it was going to come this size until I'd done it, but... So that's that one. I could probably do quite a few follow-ups to this one if you know if people was interested. And then the survival trapping one. I've had this for a couple of days now. It's probably the same amount of writing as this other one. But because it's smaller, the pictures and the writing fit better. Oh, one thing I have to show people in this one, I hope I did put it in this one. If you can read that bottom line there. Many thanks for checking out my book and especially to all the people who bought my first book so that's to everyone who bought the first book oh, and this one you know I really can't say thank you to, to, to everyone enough for buying these just checking them out you know showing interest so that's the books um, I'm going to carry on doing this and hopefully I should get better and once I get better I can then write bigger books you know and all that but you know you got to kind of test the waters at first to see if you can do these things because I didn't actually know whether I could do it you know like literally the computer part of it you know putting it online and getting it out there and just didn't think I'd be able to do it but I got this new laptop for Christmas, so that made a massive help. And I thought, it's something I've always wanted to do, so I thought, I'm just going to try it. And I thought, well, I'm not going to try it, I'm going to do it, no matter what. So, if it hadn't have been Amazon, I would have probably gone on to another website and tried to do it. And then just kept doing it. And if it had come to me actually having to pay money to do stuff, I probably would have ended up doing it in the end. But I managed to find a way where it costs you literally nothing to do your book and then get it online um, I'll put these on Amazon this Amazon KDP which stands for Kindle Direct Publishing now they used to have a thing called or they still do have a thing called Create Space and I think so far as I know that was the thing you made proper books on but now they've created well, not created, but now they've done it so on Amazon KDP you could do these real books. But because it's new, they can't do things like wholesale or proof copies at the minute. So I've actually had to just go on Amazon myself and just buy these on my account. Um, I would have done it if I had to anyway, but it would probably would have been nice to get some proofs in the first place to have a look through and think, right, oh, that's good. Because I may have, I don't know, I'll keep this one like this. But I may have changed it, you know, because it's quite a big book. But this isn't the kind of book you take out anyway. This one is. And that's as small as you can get it. But this is the kind of thing you might keep in a bag. This one, you keep at home to make some gear or whatever, you know, for ideas. But, um, yeah, so it was on KDP, Amazon KDP. They've got a report page on there that tells you how many people have bought your books, but it's kind of delayed because they only put the reports out for the paperback books, not when they've been paid for, not when they've been made, but when they've been shipped out. And at the minute it says they've only shipped out eight, I think, and two of them's mine, and another two is to this house. And I know plenty of people bought them, but they're not showing up yet, so I might get a massive spike saying how many people bought them. Um, 
I wish I'd written more of an acknowledgement in this one saying thank you to everyone, but obviously I'd already written it by then, I didn't know I was going to buy it. So I'll put an acknowledgement in the back of this one, you know, saying thanks to all the people who bought my first book. And I truly do appreciate it. Oh, this one's dated 1st of the 1st, 2018, and this one was dated 27th of the 12th, 17. So, like I said, I truly can't say thank you enough for the people who bought them, um, just encouraging me, anything, you know, it's decent. Something I've always wanted to do was this. Um, and hopefully I can carry it on and get better and better. So, thanks a lot for watching, and like I said, I truly, truly do appreciate it. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you later.